Shanti, 25th July 2018, Wednesday. May you be a powerful server and give everyone blessings with the speciality of keeping a balance. Now the service of you powerful souls is to give everyone blessings whether you give them through your eyes or through the jewel on your forehead. You saw Sakar Baba in his final Karmatit stage how he had the speciality of keeping a balance and the wonder of blessings. So follow the Father. This is easy and powerful service. It takes little time, less efforts and bring greater results. So continue to give everyone blessings with your soul conscious form. So today's blessing is, may you be a powerful server and give everyone blessings with the speciality of keeping a balance. Baba is saying, this is the most powerful service to give blessings. This is the most powerful service. It takes rest, less effort and the result is more. Give blessings through your forehead. Give blessings through your eyes. And Baba is citing the example of Brahma Baba in his last and final Karmatit stage. He had the speciality of balance and he had the wonder of blessings. So, this is the final and the last and the ultimate service where the soul is not speaking but just giving vibrations, just sending out blessings. And this service is far more greater than the service which is done by speech. Keep the balance inside and give the blessing without. Balance within, blessing without. Balance inside and blessing outside. So Baba is telling us to give blessings to soul. There are two words Baba has used in most of the Murlis. One is Mahadani and another is Vardani. Mahadani is someone who does service through speech and Vardani is someone who does service through hmm, through mind, through his blessings, through the vritti. So, we have to bless the world. What blessing we should give to the world? Who gives the blessing first of all? In the Laukik, who gives the blessing? Elders, those who are seniors and who? Ancestors, forefathers, progenitors and who gives the blessing? In Laukik, who have? who have that, who are the embodiment of that virtue or thing and who gives the blessing, who do the, who do the laukic people or grahasthi go to? They go to saints, they go to religious leaders, they go to Shankaracharya, Imam, Tirthankars, Avtas or highly recognized souls or highly enlightened souls or spiritually awakened souls or Buddhas. So they go to these people for taking blessing. So the one who gives blessing or they go to God, they go to deities, any person who is spiritually enlightened, any person who is spiritually awakened, any person who has attained the higher level of spiritual consciousness. In Buddhism it is known as Sambodhi. In Zen it is known as Satori. In 
Jainism it is known as Nirvan or Keval Gyan. In Hinduism it is known as Kundalini Jagran. In Christianity it is known as Beatitude. So different religion have used different words. In Sikhism they use the word Surati where the soul is constantly in communion, in remembrance, in Yad, in Surati of the Supreme, of the ultimate Vaheguru. So different religions have used different words for describing the same highest stage of consciousness or somebody who has attained in Patanjali's word the highest stage of concentration through the eight limbs of Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratya, Dhyan, Dharana and ultimately reaching Samadhi. So, these all souls who have attained to the higher level of consciousness, those souls who have gone through this higher stages, they are in a position to give blessings. In Christianity, there is one word which is known as baptism. Baptism means a guru baptizes the disciple and it is shown that it was John the Baptist and people thought that it is John who is Messiah, who is incarnation, who is going to come to save the world and people go to him and they say, are you the Messiah? He says, no, I am not the Messiah. I am not the son of God, that begotten son of God. He is yet to come and he is before Jesus Christ. He says, I am not he. And when he will come, I will reduce and he will increase. I am not even worthy to tie the lace of his shoes. His shoes. So, and then it is shown Jesus is coming. And then he is baptizing everybody in a different manner. So, who gives the blessing? A person who gives the blessing should be at a higher spiritual platform. A person who gives the blessing should be spiritually enlightened. A person who gives the blessing should be above the worldly tendencies. A person who gives the blessing should be beyond body consciousness. He should be merciful. His heart should be filled with mercy for all the souls of the world, all the suffering humanity. So, higher spiritual platform, mercy. He should also be a detached observer. There are many things for a person to become, to attain to that level from where he can give blessings. So, in the world we have seen elders give the blessing, seniors give the blessing, saints give the blessing, enlightened persons give the blessing and those who give the blessing they should remain detached from the one to whom they give to whom they bless. Otherwise, if one gets attached, he is not able to give blessing to the same extent in future. So the one who gives blessing should be little detached. Baba is telling us, you are the one who give blessing. There are two words and we have often seen those words in many of the murlis. Balance, and blessing. These are the two words that often come in Murli. And Baba has kept the word balance as balance. He has not used any Hindi alternative for the word balance. So balance inside, blessing outside. Balance within, blessings without. So when there is a balance within the heart, when there is a balance in the emotions and feelings, outside one gives blessing. To strike a balance in spiritual life is the goal. 
not to go to the extremes because there is an always a tendency to go to extreme suppose somebody keeps fast okay upvas so there is an excessive enthusiasm for keeping fast but when he breaks the fast he goes to our overeating if suppose somebody keeps fast for 3 days the fourth day he resorts to overeating the mind is like pendulum it moves like this it goes this and that side this and that side somebody keeps this is the pendulum it goes to the left and then it goes towards right this is human mind this is how it works it loves to go because it goes towards fasting and suddenly there would be pull for eating and then there would be overeating it goes towards brahmacharya it goes towards purity but staying there then it develops a pull for a brahmacharya and then it goes towards this side and when it goes towards this side again it develops an extreme desire to become absolutely pure it goes towards that side and then it goes towards this side so eating there is an extremes in purity one goes towards extreme in <laughs> this is how it works to neutralize and to come to the center is the goal of life where we balance everything otherwise this imbalance is very dangerous the person sometimes goes in silence but when he comes out he resorts to talkativeness he over talks he keeps on talking and talking verbosity so from silence he jumps towards verbosity from fasting he jumps towards overeating and when he overeats again he feels no give up everything and he suddenly goes towards fasting again here 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 it's a monkey mind that keeps on jumping so baba is telling to keep balance and when there would be balance then the blessings would emerge from our eyes and from our forehead mastak and nayan so these are the two places by which we would do service in future the service of the speech would reduce and the service of eyes is to see someone and to fill someone with spiritual powers it's there is no dearth of knowledge in the world people have knowledge and they do understand but they do not have the spiritual power to imbibe it to inculcate it to translate into practice so this imbibition of knowledge this inculcation of knowledge will happen through our spiritual powers not just by relating knowledge not just by giving fiery speeches but by making souls enter into the bodiless stage and through our soul conscious vision we will impart them knowledge and they will experience that knowledge and they will become the very embodiment so coming back to today's blessing baba is saying now the service of you powerful souls is to give blessings whether you give them through your eyes or through the jewel on the forehead so importance of drishti how pure our drishti should become if that drishti is to impart visions how much devoid of body consciousness this drishti should become so as to give divine visions or sakshatkar if there is a slight impurity in the drishti if there is a slightest trace of body consciousness in our drishti we won't be able to give 
visions. So give blessings through your eyes, give blessings through your forehead. And Baba is citing the example of Brahma Baba in his final Karmati stage. He had the speciality of keeping a balance and the wonder of blessings. So follow the Father. This is easy and powerful service. It takes little time. You don't have to go anywhere. You sit at one place and you send out vibrations. For the service of speech, you have to keep on traveling, go to people, and there are so many facilities of the science which are necessary, mic and so many other things. But this is the easy service. This is the powerful service. It takes little time. It takes little effort and it brings greater result. Because here we are directly hitting the souls with our subtle vibrations. So continue to give everyone what? Blessings with your soul conscious form. This is what is the task before us. One is gross service, another is subtle service. Another one is Yagya Seva, another is Mansa Seva. So the more and more focus should be on service through the mind. More and more focus should be on the service through vritti. More and more focus should be on the service of vibrations. Spiritual telepathy. This is known as spiritual telepathy. We are sitting here. Souls are sitting at some other corner of the world. We do not know them. We have no inkling of what their nature is. We have no idea about their desires, about their likings. We are sitting far away here. But through this place, we can invoke the souls. We can call them. We can emerge them in front of our eyes. We can see them. We can talk with them. We can feel their desires, their vibrations. And we can direct them. We can guide them. We can go in their dreams. And they will feel somebody had come. Some image. Some angel. Some angelic form. And they will get some divine touchings, some divine directions, some commandments, some divine call. And that call will propel them and that call will ignite their hearts, their minds and awaken the spiritual consciousness within them. So, how important this service is. And here we are not going anywhere. We are sitting at one place. It takes less time. Baba says in one second it is possible. You can move across the entire earth entire globe emerging soul and sending out vibrations emerge the sorrowful souls and give them happiness emerge the impure souls and give them vibrations of purity emerge the dissatisfied souls disgruntled souls and give them sakash of santushtata satisfaction emerge weak souls and give them powers We have so much work to be done. Emerge those souls who are ignorant, totally ignoramus. Emerge those souls who have no idea of what they are doing. They are totally confused in the stage of utter confusion. So, send out vibrations from above. Those vibrations will reach them here and this is the greatest of all the service vritti vibrations sakash the different words telepathic communication or service through silence or service through yogbal these are the different words Baba has used so making our own stage powerful this is the first important thing keeping the balance within and being merciful because souls are suffering and because of this 
वी हैव टू डू दिस सर्विस संत हृदय नवनीत समाना द हार्ट ऑफ अ सेंट इज लाइक बटर इट मेल्ट्स इट कैन नॉट सी द सॉरो एंड द सफरिंग एंड द trials and the tribulations of the world so let there be mercy in our heart for all the souls of the world because they are suffering because they are brothers and sisters and because we are the ancestors purvaj and because we are we have to sustain them because we are the founders of this tree because we are the souls of the eternal deity religion and they are our progeny they are our children we are there what bab dada so we have to take care of these souls of the world okay so balance making oneself powerful filling myself with mercy compassion and getting situated in higher consciousness om i am an ancestor soul and then sending out vibrations so this is all about today's blessing we had discussed about 16 different types of balance in some other class you can churn what are those balance three types of physical balance two types of mental balance and 11 types of spiritual balances i'm not going to discuss that here but there are 16 different types of balances in spiritual life om shanti